I've been aching to do that for the last three hours, since before lunch. Is that why you were taking your tea? Uh, well, your nose tastes cold a long time. I'm cold blood. I wouldn't say that. You know, you get better all the time. Hmm? To be with, to do things with everything. I never knew what to do with Saturday afternoons in New York before, except wait for them to become Saturday nights, but this one's been wonderful. Don't you get the plaza? Going to an artist's visit? Down Park Avenue, the most ordinary things. And what a bit of magic can do. Magic? Well, isn't it? Two weeks ago tonight, we met, and they've been magic weeks. Yes, they have. They've been exactly that. Enchantment. Uh, chef. We're going to have tea. First? Right. Chef, not another pin. You won't even pick up a newspaper. I've always picked up things. I know nothing more than sheer superstition, that's all. How many have you got in there? Four. I have not. I'll throw them in the fire. No. Why not? It's bad luck. Yes, I'm superstitious too. Give them to me. I'll take them. Well, what are you going to do with them? Keep them. They come in handy. What for? Different things. Consistent, aren't you? Superstitious, yet you'll keep this thing in the place after what Rabbit said about it. I think it looks kind of friendly. Not to me, I don't think. Boo! <laughs> Hello, Nikki. Well, I've been busy too. Not the way you think, but just busy. What can I do for you? Shepard Henderson? Yes, I see him now and again. What do you want with him? Well, you call him. Why ask me? Well, certainly not today. Well, I don't want to. Maybe I can set something up for you two to meet next week. I can't talk now. I can't do that now either. All right, see them over to me and I'll correct you. Yes. Yes. No, no, the other way around. Count to 10 between the last two, okay? Natalie's party? I'd love to, but I can't. Look, you just... Shh. There's nothing going on. No, I don't want you to come over. It's not. Hello? Hello? What was that all about? It was someone I've known. Ages and ages. Were they asking you to help coach them in a park or something? Or something. Not important. Look, sweets, we've spent all our time together. All our meals. It suddenly occurred to me that there must be some people you neglect. Well, no one I care about. Well, I've neglected everything. I've got a stack of manuscripts piled up on my bed that I haven't had a chance to look at. Why don't you go to your party tonight and I'll meet you there later? No. Uh, why not? Because you'd hate it. It's awful. You know I haven't met a single one of your friends yet? And you're not going to. Well, what are they like? Well, like they're irresponsible. Malicious, unprincipled, fun. Well, that's something. Uh, I'm not sure that's not the worst part. Hey, well, what's eating you all the stuff? No, I guess I just don't like myself very much right now. I'm crazy about you. Gillian, tell me. When are we going to get married? What's the matter? I guess I must have missed a chapter somewhere. Well, darling, after the last two weeks, you can't be like, this is 
Oh, so sudden. Well, no, but I hadn't thought of marriage. Darling, that's the man's remark, usually. You've been thinking of it all along. Not all along, but it's getting pretty bad now. I'm going crazy. I never knew a man could feel this way before. I've let everything slide. My business is shot to hell. My secretary glares at me. My partner isn't speaking to me. I can't seem to stay in the office for more than a few moments without wanting to get here and close to you. And, and then when I do, I just, I can't seem to get close enough. And how do you think marriage would cure that? I don't know and I don't care, but we can't go on like this. Darling, that's the girl's remark usually. You know I'm in love with you and marriage is the next logical step. But don't you think, Gil, why are you ducking this? But tell me, be serious. I just don't think I'm cut out for marriage, that's all. In what way? The way I've lived. Well, how have you lived? Selfishly, restlessly, one, one thing after another. I don't mean affairs. Well, I'm glad about that. Well, what do you mean? Just one thing after another. Well, anyhow, there comes a time to stop. There comes a time in life where you can choose to go one of two ways forever. You just have to recognize that moment when it comes. This is it for me, and I, I thought so for you, too. No? I don't know. Do you mean giving up a whole way of living, you think? There are times when I thought I could, wondered if I could. Well, settle down, you mean. If you'd like to call it that, that's not what's worrying me. Well, what is? I told you, me. So long as it is me. It's not. Then let me do the worry. Well, you're tempting me. That's better. That kettle must be boiling by now. Uh, they don't boil if you watch the man. If I will. I'd like to hear that again. I say I will. I want to. I think you're going to you're going to have to put that cup down. Oh, darling. Darling? Darling! What do we say next? Where should we live? Should I buy this place from you? Then we can throw all the other tenants out and unconvert it. Hmm? Well, I've only got a lease on this house. I think I'd like to start somewhere fresh. Well, again? I wish you'd make a list of your past activities. Primitive art gallery on 12th Street, a bookshop, herb shop. I can't keep up with them. Chef, don't ask me questions about my past. Well, you do make it sound lurid. I don't mean to. It, it's just that there have been episodes. Do you want to know about them? Well, I don't know that I do. That's the way I feel about it all. Do you see my life? It might seem sort of rapish a scene for your eyes, and I just don't want to talk about it. Yes, but your childhood, all the things that make you who you are, I'm jealous of these things. I know you don't feel that way. You're not jealous of anything in the remotest degree at all, but I am. And you knew there was another woman right up to the point that we met, and you never asked me about her, who she is or anything. That just seems incredible to me. Well, I knew that whatever that was, it was over. Yes, well, 
Even a little twinge of jealousy would be flattering. Oh, don't, don't think I can be jealous. I can in my own way. It's my worst thing almost. Aside from trying to get something for nothing. Have my cake and eating it too. But I'll be different, I swear. I don't want you any different. But I want to be different. Quite different. I won't stand for it. I wonder if two people have ever had a romance like this before. Very few. Very few. Damn few. Damn. Ah, uh, hell, there's light breaking in again. You tell it to go away. Well, we've got to start meeting it again sometime, and now we've got the rest of our lives together. All right. Guess I'll be polite to it. Maybe it's Aunt Queenie. Does she know that, by the way? Yes, she's a single to death. Not only eccentric, but immoral, too. Ah, no, just a hopeless romantic. Hello? Gil, it's me. Nikki, please. I want you to come up. There you are. Interruptions. We'll get rid of them. We won't let them stay long. So, how nice. Gee, thanks, Gil. Say, that's new, isn't it? Is that the one Redlich was talking about? It looks like that German governess we used to have. You're quite a stranger. Ah, uh, yes, not since Christmas Eve. Where have you been? Ah, uh, believe it or not, in Brooklyn. What for? I have a hotel room down there. I find it handier for work. Work? You? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, darling. It beats waiting in line for unemployment insurance. <laughs> Nikki, what are you up to? Okay, I have a surprise for you. Uh, for both of you, actually. Sid's new book. Sid Redlich? What already? Well, it's not all of it. Just the first two chapters and a basic outline, but it will give you an idea. Well, that was pretty quick. Well, we've been at it night and day. Did you say we? <laughs> That's right. Witchcraft Around Us by Cindy Redlich and Nicholas Holroyd with illustrations by M. Holroyd. You mean you're writing it with him? Mm -hmm. What fun. <laughs> what do you know about this sort of thing? Oh, I know as much as he does. I mean, you pick things up. Well, this certainly is a surprise, isn't it, Gil? It certainly is. Oh, we've got a surprise for you, too. Think you could stand me as a brother-in-law? Uh, you mean it? I do. Don't you? <laughs> well, uh, gracious. Uh, uh, congratulations, darling. Uh, uh, you too. Thanks. <laughs> wow. That was pretty quick, too, wasn't it? No, not at all. Say, you've been here all along. Well, not all along. Chip, I think I'd like to talk to Nikki for a moment. Do you mind? To shed some sentimental tears? Maybe. I think I'll go up to my apartment for a bit. Uh, why don't you look that book over while you're up there? Now? Uh, sure. It shouldn't take you too long. It's good. All right. Might glance at it. Fine. Bless you, Gil, dearest. <laughs> well, well, well.